Hello and welcome. It's Kristen from Life of Crafting and I'm coming back with a part two. I'm making these cards that I got inspiration from with uh, Christina Warner. She did this back in her 2018 card series for the holidays. And I did a part one where I showed me trying to learn how to Copic color. I've really had very, very little um, experience with doing anything with them. So I'm uh, now to the point where I'm ready to start doing the white embossing. And I have three different ones in my stash. Um, the first one I did was with uh, the Ranger white. The second one I did with was with a Stamping Up white. And the third was with Brutus Monroe's Alabaster white. So um, I did use my little stamping buddy on it and I do recommend um, because what I found was my placement of the, um, surface one isn't going to be exactly the same because of, um, how I did my background coloring. So I'm going to have to kind of finagle with this. So each one of these I did put on the stamp platform and kind of get where I'm going to use this as my guide of centering that is now going to tell me where I'm placing these top parts on there. Hope that makes sense. Um, so I came on this early in the process. I've got embossing powder all over. I wanted to see um, what my impression was because I have in my stash, like probably many of you, many different brands of embossing powder, many different colors. And I want to get down, like I said, to, you know, basic product that I'm going to use over and over and over again. And there's just not this thinking of like, which product am I, am I going to get? So my opinion, and again, it's my opinion. Um, out of the three, I like the Brutus Monroe the best. And the reason is, um, I've had this question before with stamping up and I don't know, maybe you've got a comment on it is, does this stuff go bad? Um, probably I've had the stamping up white in my stash the longest and it doesn't seem to give a really good solid coverage. It seems like it's got like bumps in it. So some parts seem more thick than others. Um, so having had an experience now in other brands, this would probably be my least favorite um, out of the three. The two between the Ranger and this, um, I just found that it seemed like um, I couldn't get the the extras off of the Ranger. Um, this just seemed to have much better coverage. I will tell you that my stamp was some China one I bought, and um, I can do a whole nother series on that at some point, but you get what you pay for. And I'm really starting to learn that. Um, you know, I, I, in the beginning was buying some of them because I was trying to build up a stash. And what I'm finding is the stamps really, um, just don't give a crisp stamp. And I'm wondering if some of the problems I'm having with, um, looking like there's pieces left behind. So I'm not getting, um, I don't know if you can tell there's like pieces in between. And I did use the the stamp buddy thing. Um, I didn't get the little point on the exclamation point and I thought maybe it was me, but after the third time and me really forcing that stamp down, I know that, um, it is just a bad, you can see all three of them are missing that point, that dot on there. It's the stamp. So I will be back. I'm going to, I wound up having seven of these that I did, um, because these were a good thing where I could stamp them and then my husband and I were watching some movies together and I could just sit and color in front of the TV with him, which I very, I, I watch like very, very little, I like zero TV. So um, for me to go up, I kind of have to have something to keep my hands busy. And this was a good project to do that with. So I'm going to do the other four and then I'll be back. So I tried it with um, this Fun Stamper's Journey um, stamp and I when I wrap up, I'll give you the name of it. Um, and I can tell you that it's a definite better stamp than what I had before. This is a red rubber stamp. And um, I still have the same opinions though. I finished this one with the stamping up. 
I feel they all have a nice white color, but this one still is thin in spots. Um, it's, it still just does not seem like the coverage is what it should be. Um, so I, I think my stamping up embossing powder is probably going on the Facebook marketplace um, for some place. The, um, this is super fine detail embossing white powder from Ranger. And I don't know if the super fine is part of it, but again, I have the spots in between the two L's that it kind of like connected the colors together. And I really could not, um, you know, I can't go in between there when it's not melted to do, you know, any removal. And I used, you know, the same thing, the stamping buddy. So I think this just may be too fine. I, I don't know. I really don't know. I'm kind of surprised because I was ready to be in love with this Ranger product because I love all things of Tim Holtz and it just, it wasn't that. So I think that's going to go as well because like I said, I want to streamline. I want to have one thing and the winner is going to be the Brutus Monroe Alabaster White. Um, it just came out with a much better coverage. It didn't clump up in between. So I was, you know, I'm ready to keep that one. That That's, and I'll look at it in dollars and cents at some point. Um, Cause I don't remember. I mean, this just looks like it's a much larger quantity of it. This is one ounce. Stampin' Up! you get a half an ounce and you get a one ounce in Ranger. So, you know, I, I'm going to say that this is probably dollars and cents wise going to be a much better investment too, but I'll, um, I'm going to do some different videos in the future showing what I thought, uh, as far as the product and then the, the money of it. So I have one more to do and then I'll be back. I'm going to try to attempt to make these into a shaker card, I'm thinking to cut out three or four of these and stash the, um, acetate in between two of these layers. I don't know how that's going to work. It's my first go round with that. I don't want to sit and have to stick all the little pieces of foam tape in between. Um, and with this super thick extra cards, uh, heavyweight cardstock, I think I'm only going to need like three layers. And then by the time I add the fourth one in there for the acetate between the top and the second layer, I think I'm going to be able to get, you know, some depth in there to, to make this what I want envision to, to be. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back and I'm finished. So this was my version of the, sorry, I'm moving this, the Christina Warner card. I did make it into the shaker card. Like I was saying, I was going to do a piece of my hair is on there. So what I wound up doing was I have, um, four layers of white card stock and I did three layers of it. Um, give it a wrap up what I did was the mama elephant circular grid die the mama elephant snowman agenda and I talk about this in the first part as to how I laid it out the sentiment that I wound up getting was from it's actually called holly jolly this was a stamp and die set I bought off of Facebook marketplace from uh, somebody and like I said that was what they had it named so I'm assuming that's the name from fun stampers journey this was the original um, card that she made. She just made it into, uh, you know, where she colored it and she put the foam strips behind and she just had it as a regular flat card. I added, like I said, the three layers of cutout in the cardstock. It's the heavy duty white cardstock from Hobby Lobby. And then I um, put a layer of acetate and then the final fourth one on top. And I used this great um, mix from the Greetery. I can put a link down below. I'm hoping they still have it. It's released in 2021. And it's got clear and white snowflakes and then like just little like the dots um, made from the same, fe uh, the same holographic materials. So um, I really liked how that came out and it's still thin. So, um, if you have something thicker, you may want to do a fourth layer. So I wound up with seven of those and I was really happy with them. So if you found some inspiration watching how I, um, you know, modified her stuff, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. 
you can subscribe down below and that will give you a heads up and I'll put it in your feed um, when I have new videos coming up. And I so far got probably like two videos per week that are ready to be uploaded. So uh, I'm kind of kind of into Christmas mode at this point. I was going to do some Halloween, but we are now towards the end of September and um, I put these as giveaways for my clients in a retail business and we're kind of moved into Christmas at this point. Seems kind of weird, I know, but uh, I think my Halloween paper will wait. I'll do that next year. So hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.